Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Monday morning. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Kyle Keel. Our winter storm is still on track for later this afternoon through Tuesday morning. A uh, winter storm warning and the pink shading has been extended a little farther to the west toward Waterloo and Grundy Center. Winter weather advisories issued a little farther to the north as we've kind of seen a northward trend in the snow just ever so slightly. But I tell you what, here in the northern counties, that's where we're going to have a sharp cutoff in those snow totals. Notice that Alamakee and Winnesheet County not even included in the advisory. So that just kind of goes to show you how sharp that cutoff is going to be. So not only are we going to deal with moderate to heavy snow at times, we're also going to be dealing with some pretty gusty winds. Those winds will be up there in the northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Could have gusts upwards of 35 miles per hour at times. So that's going to blow that snow around and reduce visibility this evening into the overnight could lead to some drifting snow as well. So of course we need to look at the timing of this. So let's go ahead and look at it this morning on future track. Early this morning we are not expecting any sort of snow. So your morning and even into the midday looking pretty good on the roads if you have to do any traveling. It's near and south of I-80 that we do have that snow starting to move in uh, right around lunchtime. This will be fairly light snow. Initially we might have to battle a little bit of dry air. Definitely going to be battling that dry air here to the north as we head toward the evening. We'll take you a few hours forward to about three o'clock and that snow is going to continue to track north definitely around the highway 30 corridor so Tama, van horn cedar rapids over toward uh, tipton anamosa likely going to start seeing at least some light snow but iowa city and washington at this point in time could already start to see that snow pick up in intensity and lead to reduced visibility and some slick roadways for that evening commute as we head toward six o'clock as we are kind of getting toward the end of that rush hour commute. Uh, we're going to see that snow get toward the Highway 20 corridor and then shortly after that is when we should start to see that northward progression of that snow band. Where this ends up will be key to how much snow we get in northern Iowa. Also we have high pressure taking some dry air kind of cutting into those uh, snowfall totals in northeastern Iowa. So we're going to continue to track this very closely. If I'm being honest, areas from Waterloo to big points to the north, a very tough forecast. As we progress through the overnight, we're going to continue with the snow. It will start to wind down from northwest to southeast here early tomorrow morning. So by tomorrow morning, uh, we will start to see at least some scattered snow showers. And then by about 9 or 10 o'clock, that will wind down. But the issues are going to remain. It'll still be a little bit breezy. And yes, we will be kind of picking up the pieces or I guess shoveling uh, the snowfall here as we head into tomorrow morning. So here's a look at the snow forecast. A little bit of a tweak from yesterday. Uh, we've got that 3 to 6 inch band right along the Highway 20 corridor. That's where we are going to see some pretty sharp gradients, and especially to the north, we've got a trace to three inches. Uh, what we're most confident on is this band of dark blue, six to 10 inches with locally higher amounts, up to 11 or 12 inches of possibility as well. So uh, that's going to be where we see those locally higher snow bands uh, set up. And as far as the snow ratios go, it's gonna start off as a little bit of a wet snow as those temperatures get into the upper 20s. But as that low pressure moves closer, we'll get some colder air to move in and then it will be more of a powdery snow here as we head into early tomorrow morning. So that's going to allow that snowfall to pile up pretty quickly across eastern Iowa. So you can get that snowfall map on kwwl.com any time of day. And of course, if we need to make any adjustments, we will throughout the day right here on KWWL. So for tonight, those temperatures will fall back into the teens, so that's why we're forecasting some uh, fluffier snow here toward the end of the event. Tomorrow, once that snow white or wraps up in the morning, rather, uh, we will see a cloudy sky throughout the day with breezy northeast winds. Uh, then as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, we'll have to adjust these temperatures accordingly, depending on how much snow we get, but those look to be the coldest day out of the next 10. And then as we head toward the weekend, Actually, we'll see a warm up with another storm system coming in that will bring rain and potentially a little snow Saturday into Sunday.